Well, I think you've definitely got the the potential for a, a, a 10 to 15 percent correction in the U.S. market. I, I would watch the U.S. 10-year bond yield. If you know, if, if the 10-year bond yield starts pushing much above 1.2 percent, I think you'll you'll see a fairly healthy correction in uh, a lot of the growth stocks. Um, so that's really what I'm looking at: is more the risk coming from interest rates. Event risk is very hard to sort of plan for. While we're taking a sort of long view of the 2021 markets, Mark, let's talk about inflation, but how, because how quickly are inflation expectations going to rise in the markets versus real inflation? Well, I think that's a good point. Inflation expectations have already risen. Uh, you know, we're back above 2% on, uh, you know, in, inflation expectations implied by the U.S. bond market. I, I think the reality is the actual inflation will be pretty moderate this year, but it may become more, of, much more of an issue in 2022. Um, but inflation expectations are highly correlated with commodity prices. And if we see, you know, decent co uh, continued strength in commodity prices, inflation expectations will go up and so will bond yields. So, um, yeah, actual inflation, probably quite moderate, but inflation expectations could be quite an issue this year. Well, certainly inflation expectations are being fueled by, uh, by monetary debasement, the uh, weakness of the US dollar, amongst other things, which brings me to the issue of Bitcoin, which has become too big to ignore, hasn't it, Mark? And I see you also giving up legitimacy by uh, adding Bitcoin recently to your asset portfolio. Um, what kind of allocation do you think people should have for Bitcoin? Well, you know, we normally have about a 15% allocation through the cycle to gold. Um, Bitcoin will come in and replace some of that gold allocation. Uh, I've set it at 5%. Um, so I'm giving it a, a, you know, a smaller a, a weight than gold. But, you know, it has different features than gold. I'm, you know, no tech expert, but uh, it's a, a widely accepted asset class now. And I think we have to recognize that in the portfolio.